Hello, my name is Niall McCone and I'm going to be taking you through this course on digital transformation. It's designed specifically for leaders, for managers, those who are in charge of departments who have to both design and implement digital transformation and change within their organisation. What you'll find in this course is that it is not technical, as we have found through many years of field studies and academic research that digital transformation typically is much more to do with leadership and how we manage our people through the transformation part powered by technology. I'm going to go through three different sections. The first section is the digital mindset. What makes some leaders really good at being able to transform their organization powered by technology versus others that simply adopt some technological changes but don't transform or change their organization. They have access to the same resources. How come some are more successful than others? And we believe that's the leadership mindset. The second phase is planning. How do you plan out your transformation? How do you bring your, your corporate strategies into play? How does the transformation become the corporate strategy? What is the communication levels that are required and who is in charge? We also have to take a look at the culture of innovation versus just being creative. There's the technology, it can act as an inspiration, but is technology in itself going to create transformation? Most likely not. So it does have an essential part to play, but it's understanding where that essential part is. And then of course we have data and the whole new emergence of AI. Let's jump straight in and take a look at one of my favorite shots that helps to set the scene. In this photograph, we can see Belfast Corporation in the 1930s from my home city. All of these ladies are well healed. They've got their warm scarves on. The room clearly doesn't have enough heating in it, but they're at an electricity conference, a conference for understanding what electricity is. It's hard to imagine that we would still have or ever have an electricity conference. Your business is powered by electricity. You don't say you have an electricity business. Digital is the new electricity. It is everywhere. It permeates every corner of everything that we are doing and will do. But we don't say we have a digital business or a digital business strategy or an electricity business strategy. It's time that we set aside the concept of talking about the digital as if it's something unique, something terribly different. It is the fiber of everything that we are doing and will do. Let's get over it. We need those technologists, but the technologists are begging for better guidance and direction as to what the business needs are. And that tends to be the missing element. This is what we believe. If you can't share this belief system, this is going to be a pretty long video session for you. Strategy is where we create competitive advantage. People and a culture of innovation is what will sustain it. Technology and communications are the means by which it's delivered. So when I say we believe this, I don't mean that it's something that it sits in the back of our mind and we don't practice. I mean, we thoroughly believe this. If strategy creates competitive advantage, then how much time and effort are we really putting in to getting the diagnosis of the situation, the data that supports it, and creating plans of action that allow those of which we lead to be able to take coherent steps? Quite often, strategies are written for the people above, the funder, the shareholders, there's some fluffy, vague kind of document that the people below who they're supposed to direct are asking, what is it you want me to do? Having people and a culture of innovation will sustain that competitive advantage. How much time and effort are we putting in to making sure that our people aren't just innovating, but there's a culture of innovation? That's different, and we'll be taking a look at that. Lastly, we're going to take a look at technology and communications. It's the means by which it's delivered. Unfortunately, many leaders start with the technology. And whilst there's a good argument for it, it can be inspirational. There's a bigger argument that we have to start with strategy. 
What are the business objectives? Where is the white space, the opportunity? Where are we going to change and be able to pivot? And what is the data telling us about this? If you don't believe that strategy is the starting point, you can stop now. If you want to know how strategy works, how we use data and how you plan out a transformation of an organization, you've come to the right place. We will be focusing on strategy, people, culture of innovation, and how to weave this through using data and to become better informed leaders and in how we're going to execute. This is our definition for digital transformation. It's amazing. Many organizations that we work with when we, who are on a journey of digital transformation, when you ask, what is the definition? They don't have one. And it's very difficult to get people to come along and understand the journey of transformation if we haven't yet defined what it means. And many people have many different understandings of it. The creative industry has one version, management consultancy another, technology industry, it's basically anything with a plug. So what does it mean? This is our definition. The word digital is a synonym for the pace of change that's occurring in today's world driven by the rapid adoption of technology. This means that digital is not technology. What we're saying for digital transformation is it's about the pace of change that's occurring because of technology adoption. Transformation in this context is how an organisation is built to change, innovate and reinvent rather than simply enhance and support the traditional methods. So transformation, which is quite often forgotten about as a term, we see the word digital, think it means tech, and transformation seems to just evaporate, but transformation is how we're going to build an organization that can change and innovate. And as we go through these videos, I will be trying my very best to convince you. It is the business that can innovate and reinvent that is winning the digital economy. More about that later. What is happening is that there is the words digital transformation are kind of getting polluted. There's the marketing industry, management consultancy industry, and technology providers. All three of these providers are trying to muscle in on the digital transformation wave. And then the subsequent waves of artificial intelligence and blockchain and other emerging technologies that are implanted on top of that. As a result, the term is getting muddied. It's starting to get diluted. If we were to take a look at what's actually happening in these three industries, we're seeing that marketing industries are starting to overlap with the technology industry, which is starting to overlap with the management consultancy industry. This is from a magazine called Adage, and it's an article on the rise of management consultants. The top 10 marketing firms now contains one traditional tech firm and three traditional management consultancy firms. Accenture, PwC, IBM and Deloitte are all making the top 10 in a marketing magazine. How did that happen? It's because the industries are merging. And take note, the industries are merging not because the industries wish to merge, it's because these talents are all needed for digital transformation. Again, we will go through that in more detail in later videos. The creative meets the management leadership, meets the technological. And none of the three legs of the stool can be done away with. We need all three legs to the stool. The part we're focusing on in particular is that area of leadership. It tends to be the leg of the stool that is missing most often, abandoned by leaders who perceive that their role is not technical, therefore they should have nothing to do with it. Nothing could be further from the truth. That ends this chapter. I will see you in the next video and thanks for watching.